Dr. Evan Osar, how are you, my man? I'm great. How are you, my buddy? I'm good, bud. I appreciate you hopping on here, channeling the two different things, making sure I haven't done a whole lot of feeding my Zoom to Facebook Live. So it looks like we're good. Uh, right, I'm good. gonna bring up uh, my other screen here really quick. And we're ready to roll, bro. Okay, okay. okay. Kat wants to say hello as well. All right, my man. So are you seeing this? I am not, I'm just seeing you right now. You're seeing me right now, of course. <laughs> Go there. All right, now you're seeing me. Or seeing yep. the page. Okay. All right, everybody. So this is what we're here to talk about today. We appreciate you all coming on live with us. And uh, Dr. Evan Osar, my, my friend and my brother from another mother, as we like to say, my bald brother from two bald brothers and a microphone as well. Uh, Dr. Evan and I, um, we've had a little bit of a challenge getting this event together uh, because of COVID. We were going right. to do this live in October. We ended up having to push. We're going to do it live in January. Uh, everybody's back in a shutdown now. So instead of bumping it, we're just going to take the whole thing on live uh, or excuse me, online and do it live in a live stream or on demand to everybody. And uh, we're hoping that uh, a little overview will give you more insight to see it. You want to hop on and join us. And we're also going to give you a special uh, Cyber Saturday, I think is what we're calling it. Cyber, Cyber, Saturday. Cyber Saturday discount uh, to save yourself $30 off of registration. So the Arthritis Training Solution, ATS 2.0. Uh, Evan and I have had a couple of talks like this over the last few years. And uh, the first time we brought everything together uh, was earlier this year at FAI. Uh, we got to kind of touch the basics in a pre-con of about four hours, I think, maybe five hours, something like that. And uh, so this one is twice as long, almost three times as long. We get to go into two or three times more depth, really dive into our topics and be able to go through everything that we wanted to uh, with all of you experts and get into as much content and give as many examples as we can. So a plan that we came up with for TOA Live here is that number one, we don't wanna keep you guys uh, for an entire weekend, eight to five, eight to five. So we said, how can we break this up a little bit, make it a little bit more user-friendly? The, the one really big piece that I would say is probably the most important piece for us to have we're going to email to you guys almost 10 days ahead of time, okay? And your homework is basically to watch that one session. I'm going to guess it's going to be 75 minutes. It's probably going to be more like 90 uh, with us when we get going. But we're going to talk about our basic philosophy. We're going to talk about our movement observation and our assessments. Ev's going to talk a little bit about the uh, degenerative joint. And I'm going to talk about some waffles and some program design uh, templates and components that we use. So we really want to have that embedded with you guys. Now, we're going to rediscuss it when we get on live with you guys just a little bit, but we want you to have a very good understanding and have a couple opportunities, watch it once or twice, even if you need to, and really get into that information and know. And I'll let Ev talk about uh, some of these here in just a second. And so we'll, we'll have you dive into that. And then when you join us on Friday, starting at noon, this is Pacific time, uh, three o'clock Eastern, we'll start with uh, the arthritic pelvis and we'll work our way all the way down. Uh, we've got, you know, four or five hours there on day one, and all these are going to be on demand. So once you're signed up, if you can see a couple for a few hours and then you have a client or if you're not able to attend, you can watch it later that night. Uh, you know, we want you to be able to have as many opportunities to keep working, stay, you know, stay with your schedule, do what you're doing, but also join us. And then we'll come back on Saturday, starting with the shoulder and work our way down. A couple extra pieces we wanted to put in here as some um, requests of how to implement this information come up. I, I really think it's fun to kind of create some mock programs and some workouts and actually do them. So that's gonna be a big part of it for us too, is Evan and I will coach you through an online training program, uh, assuming that you have arthritis in the knees and the hips and another one for the shoulder and the hands. And so we'll take you through that. We'll ask you to grab some bands. And if you have a set of dumbbells or two, and we'll take you through a program that would be appropriate for those kinds of limitations. So it's gonna be really fun. Uh, as always, we'll have tons of access to us. You guys can ask questions. We'll have time periods in, built in there for us to do you know, some Q&A and some discussions. We have some raffle prizes too, uh, virtual raffle prizes to give away. So it should be a pretty good time. So let's talk a little bit, Ev, about our philosophy and our training program. Do you wanna dive into that a little bit for us? For sure. One of the things that you and I have in common and that we've seen in our clients, our older clients, 
is when we look at the, our, the client with arthritis, remember that arthritis is the number one condition that we're going to train in clients. We're going to work with, with clients. And it can be mild arthritis, but it can also be debil debilitating where it really changes their quality of life. So the philosophy that we really take is that we can directly impact clients' posture and movement habits. And that's what we're focused 100% on is what can we do to, number one, assess our client to determine what are their posture and movement habits that led to and or are contributing to perpetuating their arthritic condition. So regardless if they're mild or moderate or if they're more advanced, we can address those issues and then use a very specific approach from corrective exercises, understanding the releases as well as the activation patterns. And then ultimately, how do we progress our client? Because it's great to do corrective exercise and help improve posture and movement strategies, but we need to do resistance training. Our clients need to get stronger. They need to be able to use this new range of motion that we just created, these new habits that we just created. And that is what delves very nicely into your approach to resistance training and a lot of the modifications that you've created and it's really been amazing just the little bit of time that we've been able to spend together we've actually spent a lot of time together but the yeah. actual little bit of time that, we, that we've actually presented this information yeah. to actually look at uh, an approach that actually takes it joint by joint and doesn't just look at hey arthritis uh, go do some strengthening uh, go, do, go do, do some stretching that's very specific hop on the machines yeah, yeah hop on the machines or something yeah. like that this is very specific to each joint and then we'll show you how to put this all together at the end because, again, one of the, the things I love about working with you is there's nobody better at program design, especially for the older adult. And that's, again, putting this whole program together is really what's missing for, tra for training the older adult, which is why we created this program. So it's really, really a uni unique opportunity to discover why your clients have issues, discover the most common issues, and then be able to take them strategically through from start to finish like looking at each joint and then putting it all together. Absolutely. Thank you, my man. I appreciate the compliment too. And I, it's a real joy for me to be able to work with you because we have the opportunities to fill in each other's gaps. You know what I mean? And, right. and I'm sitting here so focused on trying to get our bone density and, you know, our oxygenation exchange or capillary densities in the hands and all this. And I'm not really thinking about what about our mobility and our release at the shoulder. That's going to, you know, so you, we really do a good job of, of kind of filling in and, and helping each other build a pretty well-rounded program. Um, a couple of things that I wanted to share, and then I know you, you had a client or two that you wanted to discuss are some of the techniques that we're going to utilize. And so um, with our resistance training pieces, I use the term rigging. And, and the way <clears throat> that I like to use that is that we take a, a movement component like a step up and there's going to be something for this individual that's going to be uh, or make it possible for them to perform it. If their knee and their ankle and their foot that's so arthritically filled or they have some kind of injury that doesn't allow them to do it, I can deload them. I can literally attach them to something that makes them lighter and lifts them up. If they have stability issues, I can create instabilities with bands or with different uh, angled heights that they're going to step up onto to have them work on that. If they're strong and capable and they're able to stabilize and go, they just need more resistance, then we can do some odd loadings like this one, which is just an overload step up for Linda into a little kickstand. She has her legs sticking out in the back, working on her good control, the right knee, stabilizing it in the center pushing straight through the middle of her foot. We watch the creases in the box to make sure the lines are pointing to the middle of her foot, not to her toe. She comes back down on her left leg, nice and soft, but the whole time battling that one overloaded weight, right? Weight that's constantly trying to pull her to one side. Some of our other variations or other rig components for some hinges or just some counterweights, these little skier squats, we call them. The band doesn't do much other than engage the upper body just so the posterior chain can be on while working on this eccentric hamstring release. Okay, little exercises, these make all the difference. Posterior chain, triple band hinges, AB ductors on in the shoulder, AB ductors on in the hip, plus a displacement band, pulling her back into displacement positions. It actually aids the hinge by creating like a little bit of traction for her and then turns on all those musculatures there. 
another one, row the boat here. Uh, as we work forward in this little hinge, eccentrically stretching the hammies and the glutes and the lower back erectors, okay, all the way up the spine there, activating the whole posterior chain, teaching all those momentums to work together, use the inertia, make the bands real tight, and then work back with those. And so these are the movements that we want to incorporate all variations exercises you guys have seen. It's just slight variations and changes, adding handles, manipulating where the load is gonna be displaced, manipulating the, the angle of pull, finding comfort for our individual clients to give them an opportunity to achieve the strength gain that they want, to achieve the range of motion that they need and to help reduce, not heal arthritis, but to reduce their discomfort, to improve their quality of life knowing that we're going to get them stronger. We're going to get them more capable and able in real life to transfer all that out there. I mean, it's this huge piece that we want to incorporate. It's just learning the steps and the options really of how you can rig those exercises, all these movements to make it a little bit more comfortable for your client. So Ev, you have some very similar things that you do with your clients to, to accomplish those same goals. Absolutely. I'll just share a picture. I can't share a lot because again, because of HIPAA yeah. compliance, I can't share a lot of information. However, I just want to share a story about Kathy and, and she, she's really been a pleasure to work with. And Kathy came to me on April 29th was her first day. And, and this is her on August 29th. She, Kathy had just finished with physical therapy, like in person, just before COVID hit and then everything shut down. This is Kathy after a year, she had surgery a, a year ago, a year prior to April and then a year of physical therapy. And that's as high as she could lift her arm. And it was very painful and her physical therapy, therapist was trying to jam her into more thoracic extension. You need more thoracic extension. You, you need more shoulder mobility. You need more scapular retraction and depression. And within weeks, we were able to change her range of motion. And then she was able to get up to this range of motion, still not full range of motion, but probably about the best that we're going to do with her, given her surgery with just limiting, changing some of the strategies is really about changing the strategy, the habits that created the issues in the first place. And physical therapy oftentimes just reinforces a lot of the habits that client already has, the, the scapular retraction and depression. So I really taught Kathy how to release the appropriate muscles like underneath her arm, like releasing the lats, releasing some of the gripping she was doing through her shoulders, which reduced, like she has literally, no, she had chronic neck tension all the time for the pa past year. For, since this time, August, so basically four or five months ago, She's had zero neck problems. And that's just understanding some of those basic strategies and habits our clients get into. And oftentimes they're perpetuated with physical therapy and not to knock physical therapists or what, what people are doing, but sometimes the approach even for in physical therapy is inappropriate for our clients. And like I said, this is all virtual. We did this once a week, all virtual. And she was able to get her shoulder into good range of motion. And she just sent me an email and said, you know, one of the things we, we, are very thankful about each year we try to email somebody and let them know about how thankful we are and she was like i was unable to put up my christmas tree last year i was unable to mm -hmm. decorate for the holidays yeah. because of my shoulder pain limitations and she there's many you know days she would just spend crying and she's like i've been able to put my christmas tree up i've been able to get the, the, the house ready for the holidays and, and being able to give clients back that quality of life and that's really what it is being able to do the simple things that we all take for granted but when you can't do them like take a simple walk because you're afraid of walk of falling or you have significant joint pain or you just can't do simple activities like wash she couldn't even wash her hair her husband had to wash her hair for her so just being able to restore that those simple activities by understanding these concepts that we'll share with you just the simple principles of number one how to assess I mean, we're, the, the whole pre-video, we're going to look at our assessment process and, and how we blend our assessments together and how you can simply and easily, even in the virtual world, bring this information to your clients and then use the corrective exercise strategy and the resistance training strategy that we'll go over in the two-day live, virtual live event. And you'll be able to change so many clients' lives with this information. And as, as Rob said, not cure arthritis because we're not curing arthritis. You know, we, we don't have this magic wand but give them strategies because a lot of our clients, like I said, they've gotten into habits and they're stuck in those habits and they keep perpetuating the thing that causes the pain and further degeneration. And when you have the ability to understand what's happening and assess what's happening and then use the right correctives, the most appropriate correctives, and then the most appropriate 
resistance training where you're not continually beating the joint up, you can truly create these amazing changes. And with your client, Robert, she, you, I think you said to me that she was able to avoid knee surgery, a, a knee replacement for like yeah. 10 years. She doesn't yeah. have a knee replacement. I mean, I mean, talk about quality of life with being able to like strengthen and improve quality of life around an arthritic knee joint and avoid that surgery. And probably she, she, I mean, she looks amazing and she probably feels great as well in the process. Yeah, we, Linda and I go back uh, almost 17 years now and about six or seven years in, uh, she went to see her doc and the doc was like, well, I think we're getting pretty close to this knee replacement. Let's just hang on as long as you can. And that was kind of the birth of our Timmerman program, our posterior chain focused program. Um, there's a great story that goes with Ulf Timmerman and some knee injuries he had, and they basically just hinged him to death until he was back and throwing world records again. And so we took that same approach with her, and it's been 10 years, still going strong, still has aches and pains, still has flare-ups, but sure. nothing like she was having before. And that's exactly what we're talking about is, you know, finding ways to um, improve quality of life, to maintain if we can, and prolong surgeries until they're really needed at the end. And, you know, a lot of individuals will jump quickly at some surgeries to try to get out of immediate discomfort or immediate pain, and they don't always work. So uh, being someone that, who's had a bunch of surgeries and had the opportunities to be on both sides of this, you know, I, I want to do everything I can. We want to do everything we can to provide you and your clients the opportunities to be as comfortable and able and as, you know, as structurally sound for as long as they can before we need to take some of those actions. And even into those actions, what do we do now moving on? So that's right. the whole idea, this, this whole, our whole blueprint, our whole philosophy, this whole you know, strategy is to arm you and equip you with as much information for any stage that your clients are gonna be in for the most part, uh, we're kind of working them and giving them as many options as they can. So you guys can see the schedules up here. Uh, we have a, a little promo code going right now for the next couple of days. Um, it's regularly 159 is the price here. You can save $30, so $129 for 12 CEUs and opportunity to learn from the two of us. So basically $10 a CEU. Our industry is usually 15 to 20. So this is a very good deal, okay? $129, when you go to register, use the code LIVE30, all capitals, L-I-V-E, LIVE30, to save your $30 on registration. And that will be up until Monday night, till Cyber Monday ends at midnight. That code is available LIVE30. I will be sure to put that in the Facebook post as well. We really appreciate all of you being here. To register, go to trainingtheolderadult.com. When you get to the top of the page, it'll look like, boom, like this. When you get to the top of the page, not two ball brothers, that's not today. You go to <laughs> TOA, TOA Live right here. And we have 41 days, 22 hours, 32 minutes, and even. <laughs> Pop down here and register. When you click on your registration, it'll ask you for a code. And this is where you're going to punch in your code right there, Live 30 you're going to apply that puppy and it should work. Boom. Down to 129, yeah, nice. just like that. Huh? All right, gang. Nice. Any questions, feel free to comment below. Evan and I will get back to you for sure. We appreciate you all joining us. Have a lovely day. Dr. Evan, anything day. left from you, my man? Really, really an amazing event. <clears throat> if you train clients with arthritis and you want to understand arthritis and really help clients, like my client, Kathy, is just a sample of the clients that we've been able to help your client, I forget her name, sorry. Linda, mm -hmm. Linda, Linda yeah. again, you've helped hundreds, maybe probably thousands of individuals just like that, both through your live, through your studio and through your coaching. And we wanna bring you the best information we have. And again, Rob, you've had experience with your own joint replacements, what it was like leading up to it, what's been like living with joint replacements. I've had 22 years of working with clients with arthritis, pre-surgery, pre joint replacements, after joint replacements. So we know what works. We know what works. We know the, the common issues and we have a great strategy to share with you so that you can transform more clients' lives, attract more individuals that need, want, and will pay you for your expertise and really work well, whether you're working virtually and or in person, because many of us are in, in the virtual world. Yeah. You can still create amazing changes with, with your clients in the virtual world. So Absolutely. super excited to, to be part of this and we're gonna be taking you through this process so you'll feel like what it feels like in your body so you'll know exactly what it feels like 
what you'll be sharing with your clients. So super excited to be part of this and to share this information with you and really to help create a bunch of a community of people who understand how to work with clients with arthritis. And I'm glad you brought up the online component too, Ev, because that's knowing that we've had to now change this from being a live event to an online streaming event. We're changing the content to be able to deliver that to you, knowing that's how a lot of you might have to be doing it. So we have an online assessment strategy. We're going to take you through of how you can test things with your clients camera to camera, not face to face, right? Yep. So we, we, are, we are definitely understanding that and knowing that you're not going to have access to a ton of equipment. We're going to have a little kit that we will send out and advise you guys. This is probably everything you will need for the most part to train the majority of your clients well. So we'll be sending you that as you register and get entered in, you'll get more content and things sent to you along the way to make sure you guys are ready. And we would love to have you physically join us by doing these workouts as we stream them live and instruct you. That way you can really feel how to do them. Just like I was saying, you hear it, you learn it, you feel it. Now you've got all three domains there of learning. You'll get that content and ready to roll. All right, gang. Dr. Ev, I appreciate your time, my man. Everybody Likewise. on here watching, we appreciate your time. We hope to see you on here. Trainingtheolderadult.com. Hit TOA live and don't forget your promo code live, L-I-V-E 30 to save that 30 bucks. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. Take care and we will Happy see you Saturday. soon.